Hey guys, it's Marvondas. First of all, I want to say, sorry it's been so long since I've put out a video. I'm not going to go into details, but life has been a bit hectic. There's going to be a new video uh, some point this week, and then I'm going to push myself to make a new video every week to week and a half from now on. Not only to keep a schedule for you guys to watch something, but to force myself to keep writing despite stuff that may be happening in the background. Thank you so much for your patience. Number two, at the time of this posting, I'm up to 1,885 uh, subscribers. I want to say thanks to the people who have stuck with me for so long, enjoying my videos, and the new people who have just caught on and just really like the content I put out. I really appreciate it. I'm going to hopefully keep doing it for the future. And number three is the Age of Sigmar role-playing game. Uh, basically, for those who don't know, Cubicle 7 is creating an Age of Sigmar role-playing game, and they've just did a quick update saying, hey, we're still working on it. And they started talking about two things, two aspects. Number one, it's going to use archetypes, basically meaning you put an archetype of, say, I'm assuming, I'm assuming, an archetype of, a, say, a Fire Slayer or a Stormcast Eternal, etc. It gives you a set number of, of capabilities and then you expand from there, which I guess is great for new players, as they suggested. And honestly, I'm kind of excited about where they go on from here. It should be pretty fun. Oh, and another important thing, for the first game, for Fisherboy, they're going to fo focus on the forces of order, which makes sense. They're the good guys, generally. Well, 50% of them are pretty... Well, there's the Stormcast Eternals. Uh, well, well, unless you're a chaos-tainted town, then, well, they might have to do things. But generally, the goodest Fire Slayers are Greedy, care about overdards, don't care unless it involves them. Sylvaneth are as nature personified. Lizardmen are fairly neutral. Daughters of Cain. Oh, wow. Uh, huh. So, there's a reason they're called order, not good. But they're going to be the main point of the first book I'm assuming and it's going to be pretty great. I'm going to be I'm and I'm super happy to have it because as a guy who's been part of a tabletop role playing podcast for like 8 9 years, I want to run a, a game in this setting. Uh where I'm going to run and what's going to happen with it, I'm not exactly sure. I'm thinking of either doing a edited thing I'm going to post on the YouTube channel or maybe even doing it live on the YouTube channel or on my Twitch. It's still something I'm debating and about the world and what I'm going to do with it. But I'm super excited and I want to run it for you guys here on the on the channel. So that's something that's going to happen and I'm not going to talk about it more until there's even more information. But anyway, uh, that's about it. Uh, nothing else comes to mind. So thank you for listening, watching, and sticking with me through everything. Talk to you guys later.